So, welcome back to some more Iron Sight. Previously, I made a video on my general thoughts on the Iron Sight open beta, so make sure to check that out if you haven't already. And I think I'm going to go ahead and keep on covering this title here on the channel, so don't worry, I'll try to keep you guys who are interested up to date on any news regarding Iron Sight to the best of my ability. Don't worry, this will have no impact on my Battlefield videos, as those will always be here to stay. So let's get right in. Ironsight just released their first HQ report discussing various things like monetization, content updates, their goals for the game, and more. There's a lot to go through, so sit back and let's get right into this little update. First things first is monetization. In short, the way they handle progression, loot boxes, and whatnot. Now what I really like about this is that Ironsight is devoted to fair play having different ways of funding themselves while keeping the game fair and giving no advantage to paying users is the way to go. I am glad to see them continue this route and I wish them the best in their endeavors. Building upon this is their strive for community focus. The people behind Ironsight are involved in their community and they listen to feedback. They encourage streamers and YouTube content creators making videos on their game, as they are launching their own Ironsight partnership program to get content creators and streamers on Ironsight. In regards to accepting feedback, whether it is positive or negative, the developers at Whipple Games listen. You can see them on their official Twitter retweeting streamers and sharing Ironsight YouTube videos made by the community. This is what I like to see. A team devoted to their community and listens to what they have to say is definitely a big plus and will only reap good fortune. Just look at Fortnite, a massive game where developers are constantly listening to make their game the best it can be. All of this is great news to hear from behind the scenes, so let's get right into some updates that affect the game in more of a direct way, and that is competitive. They'll be focusing on tournaments, seasons, and different types of competitive modes, so hopefully the competitive scene for Ironsight grows and potentially the game could hit esports and host huge prize goals. It's a long stretch from here, so it'll be interesting to see how things will go. As for content updates, it seems like we'll be getting a look at a new drone called the Storm Shield. It may be a score streak when you could deploy in a set position and use as cover. It looks like you can use it to crouch behind and fire at enemies while being safe, and it also offers more cover in the middle if you have to take a moment and heal up or use another score streak. It'll be cool to see how this thing plays out. Also, it looks like a brand new map is in the works. The name is Ironwork. Here's what it has to look like. From this image, it's hard to get a sense of scale here, but it doesn't have super long lines of sight, which I am glad to see. For the last bit of news here, for players outside of North America and Europe, Ironsight looks to host servers in Brazil and Russia so those outside of the two main supported regions can play. There's nothing official they can share for this just yet, but the hope is to eventually give worldwide support for Ironsight. All in all, I'm glad the developers at Whipple Games are clear about their goals and ambitions for the game. I wish more dev teams were this transparent and in touch with their communities. So yeah, that about wraps up today's video. Make sure to drop a comment down below on your thoughts on this HQ report. And as always, it's been Bloodhound, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.